Welcome to video 4 on the SCARM Model Railway Editor. Most model railroads will be built on a table or a baseboard, which can have a specific shape and size. So when we design our layout, it would be very useful to have a drawing of that baseboard on our workbench. Let's have a look how we can make such a drawing. In case your baseboard is rectangular, then things are really quite easy. Go to the tool menu and then open the toolbox or alternatively just click the toolbox item on the toolbar. And all we have to do is enter the size of the sides. And it depends of course if your units are millimeters or inches, what numbers you have to type here. My baseboard is a square even and it's 3000 times 3000. So I type in those two numbers and click done and there is my baseboard. If you already happen to have a layout design available, then it's also quite easy to create a baseboard around it, a rectangular one. And that can be done via the menu edit and then create baseboard or alternatively quicker, right click on the workspace and then create baseboard, but don't click it. First press the shift button and then click it. And that will create a a rectangular, in my case, uh, even square, but normally rectangular around the layout. It will do that fully automatic. Okay, but so when we don't want a rectangular board, we want a specific shape. Well, then we have to make a drawing ourselves. Let's first get rid of this one. Uh, I can uh, click the undo button or hit Ctrl Z on the keyboard. Um, how to make a drawing of a baseboard is, well, also quite easy. Right click on the workspace, create baseboard. And now my cursor, uh, yeah, nothing shows, but it actually is a baseboard pencil. Uh, I can click at a certain point. Uh, we can have a look at the ruler uh, where we are, or here at the bottom uh, left, we can always see exactly where we are. Click once with the left button and now uh, if you can also let go, you don't have to click and drag, but uh, just click once and then we are drawing a baseboard line. Uh, normally you would probably like this to be straight lines and that's also easy. Press the control key while you are dragging your mouse and it will create a nice straight line. Left click and then yeah, keep that control key pressed and left click again left click again and left click again and again and now look what happens it snaps here at this position look i don't know if the video shows that quite nice but it snaps here because it sees that it is uh, in line with our start point so what we can do now is uh, right click and then it automatically will close the gap now we have a very nice L-shaped baseboard. You can make any shape. It doesn't need to be straight lines. Any shape will do. Let's do one more quick example, um, having this uh, yeah, diagonal piece cut out also. Instead of undo, I could also click the uh, baseboard. It will turn red. It's now selected and press delete. Then it is gone. Let's make another baseboard, but now with diagonal or, or not uh, vertical and horizontal lines. And uh, right click again, start it by creating a baseboard and then click. And well, the first line I press control because I want it to be perfectly horizontal. The next one also, and the next one also, and the next one. I left click, eh? left click. And now we are here. I want to go diagonal. If I keep control pressed, it goes 45 degrees. Well, in this case, that is what I want, so why not? But suppose let now I let go the control key because uh, suppose that I want to follow this uh, inner uh, curve in the layout, why not? Just click a lot of times and create all the points that you want. 
and you have a perfectly nice uh, curved baseboard. And now I press control again, it snaps over here again, uh, right click and then it closes the gap. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. Well, or is it? Why did I make this corner over here? It would be much nicer to have this line just go straight down. Can I also edit my baseboard? Well, yes, we can. If we click it, it turns red and then it is selected and we see all these squares. These are the points that uh, I clicked. And I can just move such a point, click a point to select it and then press the control key on the keyboard, then left click and drag. So keep your mouse uh, clicked. Uh, yeah, now we have a little issue. Uh, it doesn't snap to grid. Uh, you have to just yeah put it somewhere, then uh, it will approximately be okay yeah, we can see here that my line is not exactly vertical yeah this can be a bit tedious there is no way to do this in an exact manner you can also uh, delete uh, these points this one is now yeah not not necessary anymore if i press delete then it is gone if later i would like to add a few points that can also be done uh, just click let's let's say i want to make a little uh, a, a little table here for my laptop uh, let's do that i click uh, over here right click right click on that line insert a new point and there it is and well let's uh, insert another point uh, right click again insert a point and there it is now can i i can make a little table insert another point and then move that over there and insert another point and move that over there and i have a nice little computer table on my baseboard that's all possible but in case you don't like this uh, this idea that your coordinates are not 100 accurate because you just drew, you know, made the drawing with the mouse yeah, then there's another, yet another way to create a baseboard, and that is via the toolbox. Let's have a look. Let's first delete this whole creation again. And let me hit slash to zoom to fit and open the toolbox. There we have another baseboard option, not just a rectangular like we already used, but we also have absolute coordinates. Now it asks me a start point. Well, let's start at 0.0. .0. I can hit the plus. Nothing happens, uh, but it now tells me your last point was 0, 0. May give me a new point. Well, in my case, the length of my baseboard is 3000. So my new point is 3000. I can click the plus or I hit enter on the keyboard. Did we see what happened? I have a straight line of exactly 3000. Now let's go down exactly 3000. And let's go to X is 1800. Yeah, that's looking, looking good. Uh, y is 1800 looking good. X is zero. And then I can close the gap because it knows automatically how to do it. Uh, click done and there we have it. But this time every point on this baseboard has the exact coordinates that we gave it over here. We can do this in two ways with absolute coordinates or with the length of the lines. Uh, that is just a personal preference. Whatever you like best, just take that. I think this covered everything uh, about baseboard. So in the next video, uh, well, I don't know a subject yet, but, but we will have something interesting to do. Maybe see you back there. And in the meantime, have fun.